down a bit more, slow down a bit more, Adam. You couldn't go past there. Now you can go. You couldn't go past them with a the car coming the other way. Oh, I thought there's plenty of room. No. Slow down a bit more, slow down a bit more, Adam. You couldn't go past there. Now you can go. You couldn't go past them with a the car coming the other way. Oh, I thought there's plenty of room. No. Okay, Adam, what did he do last week? Pedestrian the crossings. Just a few them. questions. Oh, all of them? Oh, yeah. Just a few questions about them. Oh, there's Musk. Um, zebra crossing with an island in the middle, you treat it as one or two? One. Island in the middle? Oh, two, two. two. What about the light control one with an island in the middle? One. Good. What about staggered? Two. Nice. Um, what can you not overtake on crossings? A vehicle, like motor vehicles. Good. Can no. you overtake them mobility scooters? No. Can you overtake cyclists if yep. it's safe to do so? And where do you look when you're approaching a crossing? Each side, far in. and in the middle. Each side and within running distance. Yep. Okay. Um, okay, so we're moving on to Progress Town and Country. It's very important that you know all the speed limits on the roads at all times because obviously you could feel your driving test with driving too fast and driving too slow. There's a guideline, if there's regular street lights to build up, what's the speed limit? 30. Now there's two ways you can tell if it's a 40, what are they? Little signs on the side of the road. What do we call them? I don't know. Just repeater signs. Oh yeah. Repeater so just signs. repeaters. You don't normally get the repeater signs um, when it's a 30. What's your other clue? <coughs> Not sure at all, I thought. <laughs> What? Do you not watch them videos? That is. Right, now it's the reckon, so I've read somewhere, I've heard somewhere, that 75% of your speed limits change at the end of the road you're coming out of, or the start of the road you're going into. So if it doesn't change, it means the speed limit is the same. So if you're driving down the road and you're not sure the speed limit, have a look on the side road. If you see a 30, it means this speed limit is different to that one. So what's that one going to be? 40. Good. If you see no signs there, well we know the side roads are 30, so what's the speed limit going to be on this road, if there's no signs there? 30. It is. Now, that's not always the case, so means they don't have the signs, but normally most of the time they do. Yeah. Regarding the driving test, if you're on a nice clear 40 road and you're sitting doing 30, why is the examiner not going to be happy for? It's going too slow, dangerous. What people behind do? <coughs> Overtake, maybe. And that's where accidents happen. So on a nice clear 40 road, the exam will be over the moon, about 35, 36. You don't necessarily have to do 40, but then we'll be over the moon with about 35, 36. Um, if you're doing 31, 32 and a 30, guess what the examiner says? Fail. No, nothing. You get away with that. Oh. If you're doing 33s, 34s, uh, you're going to get minor faults. If you do 35 repeat of time, you're going to get a serious fault. If you're at the thick end of... 30, you're going to get a serious fault also. You could feel for doing 30 in a 30, why is that? I don't know, in case you need to, in case it's busier or something. Exactly, you know when we've been on the housing estate, you've only been doing about 15 miles an hour mm. because of all the parked cars, lots of street furniture. So have any questions about that? No. Nope. On them particular road, you're going to tell me how fast you're going to drive and why, and give me the reasons. What roads are country roads? Both roads, all roads. Couldn't be roads are 60, aren't they? Well, I'm coming to them now. So, what does that sign mean? 60, no, 70. National speed limit means 60 or 70. So, if you see that sign you're on a single carriage via road, what's the speed limit? 60 or 70. No. So, so if it's a single carriage via road and it's national speed limit, it's got to be. 60. Good. If it's a dual carriageway? 70. Nice. So, is that a dual carriageway? No. Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. He, Alan says that's a dual carriageway. Wait. That is not a dual no. carriageway. Why is it not a dual carriageway? Because there's, there's somewhere in the middle. Well done, well done, well done. So, if you look in the middle, 
and it has a strip of land or a barrier or a raised curb then it's a dual carriage so it would be what would be the speed limit 70 another way of looking at it you're a footballer aren't you mm -hmm. loves his football this guy if you roll a football across the road and it stops in the middle that means it's a dual carriage oh, right. if you roll it right across and it doesn't stop what does that mean it's not a dual carriage really. does that make sense yeah one other thing bends bends to the left do you know what the limit point on the road is? <clears throat> I didn't really get that in the videos well, is it here. The limit point is the furthest part of the road you can see. So where's the limit point here? In the corner. Just the corner. So when you approach a bend, if the limit point starts to move as you're approaching the bend, it tells you it's a sweeping bend. So you probably go around in third or fourth gear. Bends to the right keep well to the left so you can get a better view. Um, if the bend, imagine the bend's really sharp. There's the limit point. You're approaching that limit point and it's not moving. What's that telling you about the bend? That's very sharp. So then you'd have to go to second. Sometimes you might have to go to first gear, but normally second gear. Bends to the left. Don't be tempted to get to the centre of the road to get a better view because there might be a car coming this way. Just keep it tight to the curb. Okay. Any questions? No. <coughs> when you're ready, then. Do you want the aircon to die in here? Uh, yeah, I'll put it on. Right, you can't. Press the clutch down. Right, do all them mirrors again. Use all the just your seats again after you've. Um, you're okay? <coughs> it's alright, yeah. Alright then. Put your window up. And I remember last week that we're not going that way the day and I said we were the mini roundabout there was a car coming from your right, what should you do? Stop. Stop, don't pull out. That's it, you still around this car. Your dog might have gotten out. You take it for walks? Yeah. And be tight with it. Your feet was very impressive last week, so don't let that go. Left. left. Been doing any driving? No, nah, not really. What? Well, that's good for work. I just don't want to go to my car. Now, see the national. Yeah. Just hang on a minute, just take a foot off the gas. We need to look in the mirrors first and see if anybody's overtaken. There's no one overtaken. Straight to gaze and how fast should we drive along here? 60. I know it's 60, but how fast should we go? 65. What? No, I don't need to go about 45, 50. Couldn't go past them with a the car coming the other way. Well, I thought there's plenty of room. No, it's really good. That's my usual words. Take the next road to the left. <coughs> Signs to be coming, so it's still uh, 60 because we're on a national. Now, you would how fast should we drive down here? 40. But what you do now, this feels like a really comfortable speed. Take the next road to the right. 
So if there's no signage to be driving into this road, then it's still a 30. Right, um, what are we doing with Tesla? I'll get back, I'll get my own back on you. Tell me about the cyclist then, what made you think you had enough room? I don't know, I just always sit, I just I thought I had enough room. Did you? Yeah. <clears throat> well, how much room, do you agree that cyclists are vulnerable? Yeah. Good. Now, how fast will we go? Too fast. We're going far too fast to pass that cyclist now. Um. It was just, you must not, just not judge the gun. So, how much room have you got to give them? Is it a car's length? No, the car's length. About a metre and a half. What's the, why should we give them about a metre and a half for? So it'll put them off. Well, if we know we've got to give them a metre and a half. Why do you think we give them a metre and a half? At least a metre and a half for? At that speed, anyway. What can the cyclists do? Swerve. Swerve around potholes, yeah. they could fall off the... It's off, I've been on my bike and fell off it. Missed the pedals. So I swerve around potholes, um, wobble. So when there was a car coming in the way, I'm not saying you should never overtake when there's a car coming in the way. Now if the road was a lot wider, I'd expect you to go past, but it wasn't that wide, was it? So if you're unsure, it just slow down and gives your brain a bit more time to work. Do you agree? Yeah. Next site as we come to, if it's a narrow road and a car come, what are you going to do? Slow down. Slow down and let plenty of room. Now, if, you know, if there'd be no cars come, what would you do? Just overtook. Just overtook. Right, driving when you're in. How do, why is this mirror not? Because you're doing this one. <coughs> Why is this one not doing? Well, the button below that, slide it across to the right. Have you just sussed that out or what? I know, I don't know, it's, it's all bus. We got it though. Fingers where the car and the door in the corner. Uh, what? Yeah, it's because I've made my seat. Right. Is that one okay? Yeah. When you're ready. Yep. Sure? Yeah. Then we turn right at the end of the road. Now, can you see the signs up there? Yep. It's a national street. Mm -hmm. You know when you do your hill stop, get a slight tug on the car so it doesn't roll backwards. So now all roads off here are 60 miles per hour if it's a single carriage. Turn right, yeah, yeah. the middle one first. We'll then make the turn of you. Now keep your car safe. Somebody's been driving really slow, isn't it? You know, the traffic. And make sure you stop at these white lines. Just question for you. Car there going left, who's got priority to there? Them or us, if we turn right there, go on left. Uh, hold on. Alright, I'm going to go anywhere. <coughs> Where was it? So if that car's going left, who's got priority? Them. Good. I was just seeing if you remembered your crossroads. Now, another clue that it's national speed limit, there's no repeater signs, and there's no street light. How fast should we drive along this road and out to the line of the road uses? 50. 55. 50 max, that's all you want. I wouldn't go over, I wouldn't do 55.
does this feel too slow to you like? No. This feels really comfortable to me. Yeah. Now expect anything round the bends. Can you see the limit point? Yeah. As your approach it starts to move away from you. Well I've just changed game. At this speed more. Because you're in you're doing 45 so four so quick here. favouring now 40. and if them signs weren't there that road would be national speed on that good stuff You know, if you'd start to overtake the bus and they put the indicator on, what would you do? Keep going. Good stuff. And the traffic lights were turning left. On your middle one. I did, Alan. Did you? Yes, yeah, honestly, I did. I did. Why did we use the middle one first of all? Save. 
in case you can slow down in case you want to slow down. Just to see if something's close here. Gives you a true life picture, doesn't it? Now there's no signs as we come in, so what's the speed limit? Uh, so how fast should we drive on this road? 25. We've got the crossings. Um, have you scanned them? Yeah. Have you seen them? I can see there's nobody there, but if you see somebody walking, walk the water, use your middle of the road and see what's on behind. Oops, we're waiting press the buttons in the next one. So our fever could go a little bit faster here, because it's we've got a bit of pedestrian activity, but maybe it's just under the third. Traffic lights up there, so that could change at any time. Yeah. Your speed feels really good, you've got to be ready. Personally, I'll be off gas now, I'll be ready. Check that out, see how close that white valley is. These could change at any time. I think these are sensing, you know, when somebody comes yeah. in. Right? Video at the start. Yeah. I'll play that at the start and come on. See the 40s? Yeah. Need a mirror check. Is anybody overtaken? No. Then how fast should we drive along here? 36. Good. Solid white lines. What can you overtake on them? Bikes. S cyclists and slow moving maintenance vehicles. So listen to Mars now. The clock the signs on the left hand side. Does that mean you have yes, to? Yes, we're in first. Get your speed up. Um, why do you think you've got to get your speed down for? Because it might be people. Good kids, they haven't got much road sense, haven't they, children? So you've got to be ready for them. And apparently, it's, it's just an advisory, but if I was doing, if I was seeing them, I'd be down to 20. Oh, yeah, you know your video. When I ended that, I watched it. I watched, I watched this one about, about 50 times. Because <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> now I can go up the corner. Yes, once you pass the school, use your mirrors and it's safe. So is it still a 40? Yes. Follow the signs for Dolly. See the flashing up ahead? Yeah. We're going for Dolly. Can I even see it on that? It's left. Mirrors and signal for left. Speed limit now. Seven. Good, because it's did you encourage me. So how fast should we go on here? Sixty. About fifty-five will do for me. If you have to overtake a cyclist on here, you need to be in that lane. You got that? Yeah. You can't overtake a cyclist half in this lane and half in that. Go on, we can get you the next gear. Keep up the trains. Then the first, then the first. 
first. Look at that, second car. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, of course. Why did you fail? It didn't fail right, did it? Did it fail right? It didn't, did it? Right. To be honest, if you'd gone straight away, I would have said second. Once you um, slowed that down, far down, you should just done the roll in first. If I said you're not sure, what do you do? Oh, just do the roll first. Nearly stop. They're there again in the middle of the roundabout. And the speed limit is? National. Because what, how much do you know, fast you think on this road? 50. Do you do 50? It's 40 now, so. Is this a hill stop? Yep. Give me three words for a hill stop. Tug, gas, tug. Tug, no, gas, tug. No, tug. What? Gas, tug. You hurt my brain. Gas, tug, gas, isn't it? Now, if I remember rightly, you were really good at these, weren't you? Because you used to get a little slight tug on the car. Now you're not getting it. You take your handbrake off and bring the creature cool. Do, 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 do. Did you did you watch that pedestrian, that guy with the orange coat on? Yeah. I you? honestly couldn't say even real time. Honestly, every pupil does the same. We all do the same stuff. As in my took down there, they're still wouldn't sleep. But he was alone, this was he? But as long as you can learn from that. That felt a bit better to me. Rushing your footwork again. If you hit somebody at 20 miles an hour, the goodness, there's an 80 percent chance that'll survive. If you hit somebody at 30 miles an hour, it's equivalent falling up a three-story building. Oh, go Left. And if you hit somebody at 37, 38 miles an hour, it's equivalent falling up a five-story building. No, which what? I'd rather be hit speed. I'd rather be hit hard. Was there any signs as we um, came into the junction? No, I don't think so. So it's still 30. 30. 
should be in your next gear. Tell me what signs you see up ahead. Dash on. Yeah, so when you get in there, you know what you're going to do first? Nervous. Because people like to overtake, don't they? So you wouldn't overtake, you wouldn't put your foot down if somebody's overtaken. How fast should we drive along this road? 55.
Jones. Okay. I would class this as left. Treat with a 
drives as it is. Touch the curbs. Everybody tries to push the curbs in. Keep their eyes moving. Single back on. No, no, it's handbrake. Bit of a little bit of a hill start. It's your decision. See, because the the come the flying down there. So that's it, don't you want, isn't it? Yeah. Misjudge that at your own peril. Follow the signs from Middleston Miller. Sideboard. What's in the sideboard? Stairs. What else? Now look for. What do you see on the lamp posts? Forty. Repeat the signs. That's right. Now, well, how fast should we drive along this road? Thirty-five. What have I got road on me? Thirty-five. Yeah, you'd say that. Now look in the side road. What's in the side road? See the thirties. Yeah. So that makes this is a forty, doesn't it? So every, every time I come down the area, people will say, what speed is this? Every one of you see a 35. Is that a pedestrian crossing out there? No. But you'd be ready to slow down and stop. Feels a good speed, this, doesn't it? But you've seen the importance of using your mirrors with people overtaking. And I've got that on video, so I hope my pupils watch these videos. You get a canny lot of views on them. Hmm? You get quite a lot of views on them. Well, the more I'll blow, the more I'll get. And eventually they just go viral. Now the traffic lights were turned and left. Now, can I leave this next country road up here? We're going to sit in silence, so when it opens up, check your mirrors and speed up, when it closes down, check your mirrors and slow down. Do you notice the 30 signs? So I'm going to see if you drive too fast or too slow. I'll stay in the second day of Oh, yes. Be ready, what could them lights do? Change. It feels a bit faster now.
signs for Durham. Use the maze of yours. The signal's called. Sorry? Why are you? You can see enough there from where you are. It's good that you're leaning forward, but you can see everything you need to see. the turn before you pull out. Why didn't you go then? I don't know, it's bold. I just don't think I was out far enough. I could you have. were, you could see fine enough up that road. You could see fine enough in me. It's it's still, oh, it's but just keep it at the speed for now. Your speed on that other road was really good. It wasn't too fast. It was fast in the right places and slow in the other places. It was all good. Just the gears. It's just the fluffy gears lingering to keep the gear too long with just a bit more mirror work. Accelerating. It was pretty good, it was, it was good stuff. So I'm leaving them up to you now with a couple of roads. You happy with that?
I get the video. Good. Bit cheeky though, isn't it? Friend of yours? Keep on solid, is it? Hey, 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 we dare pull out there. He's too smart. That guy's too smart. Take the next road on the left, just where the before the bridge comes. Right, we've got one more country road up here. Um, I'm going to leave it out here. If you can't see around the bends, what do you do? What do you get? A third or second. Second. If you can't see around these tight bends, you want second. Watch. I wish I could point that video. Watch fourth to fifth now. This is what you're doing, look. Like that. It's, no. you, you don't change gear like that. Watch. I'm as weak as water. Little finger. Watch. No, you're just going. It's true, you don't change gear, you just guide it, look. So, four test, you've guided it in your run, you guide it across, and then you push it. Do you agree? No, just. No, that's wrong. That's it? Well, you don't change gear. See, like but that. that feels like. That what, tells what it feels like? Just like, it feels like it's just going to go on a third. Right? That, that looks perfect, that. Oh, there's Elliot, isn't it? Yep. Wait, there's more, sir. Right, so forth. That's it. But See? No, no, you didn't push across, so watch. Just, it has to go that way, look. But if you if you tend to put too much pressure on, you will go into the wrong gear. How was I doing off a four? You're not driving a dumper truck, are you? Watch Sol, watch Sol will be like this, look. He doesn't go into fifth gear. Why? Because he doesn't drive past 30 miles an hour. Does he not? Tell me the girl's blouse. Right, go on, off you go. So stop forcing the gears. We'll have no gearbox left. Where are we going? Right. Now, can you see properly to that right? Stop with the white lines. Stop with the white lines. Now lean the top half of your body forward. Still looking at it. Well, creep the car forwards. Stop. The car come this way, look. And it was coming quite fast. Still looking at it, really. Lean forward, creep forwards. But creep forwards when the left's clear. That's it. That's all you have to do. But learners make the mistake there just stopping in the middle of the road. Stop at the white lines first and then look. At the end of the road, turn left. <laughs> Careful as well because it's quite tight. Look this way before you pull up. I don't think you could have gone there. Why is that van was? Like, like you pulling. say, it's tight. It is. But, uh, you're pulling out too fast. You're bringing the clutch up too quick. You're just going to take your time. Do you remember what I said about the bends? So, really, I want to be in second. I think you can see around this bend, you can hear. See around that you need same gear. Nice, that's better. Now keep it well at the left. That's good. That's good because learners will come round there with their gear on the wrong side of the road. Should I have been? What? In 
second. No, that was no. good. Yeah, it's all good there. What's the speed limit now? That's not good. Yeah, we need them mirrors. How fast are we then? 55. Oh, what do you do? 50, 50. How fast are you going? I'm going 30, 40 at the moment. Well, why would you want to do 50 then? Well, so keep it at 40. About well, 40, I would do. 45 max. It's not that wide, is it? It's windy, it's uneven, it's bendy, it's... Well, so in a test, would you not get told off for going that speed? 40, 45, no yeah. chance at all, no more time. Now, if you compare the different roads, where you can remember the ones before, they were like runways. Yeah. You put your foot down, that's common sense, isn't it? But not on these types of road. In the video, how many people are killed every day on these roads? Three. You're absolutely so right. that shows that I watch your videos. Three people every day are killed on these types of road. Shows I watch them. <laughs> and when you're bored. <laughs> so if you do 50 along here, it'd be, it'd be bouncing all over, wouldn't it? Yeah. But 40, you good speed. See up ahead? Cars. Oh, what are you going to go through here then? Second. Nice. Can I get through there? Well, I wouldn't risk it if I was you. It's a car coming, isn't it? Do you think, if you'd gone through there, do you think it was the correct decision? No. And second gear would be the correct gear to go along here. Just be ready to pull in. But there's loads of parked cars, isn't there? It's stupid. No, you just be ready. Learners come along here and they're more testing about 30 miles an hour and then a car comes and they're stuck in the middle of the road. Panic. It is awful that, that yeah, this So well that's why you keep your speed down. At the end of the road, turn right. What if your speed's down? This is dangerous, what they've done down here, look. Well, I can't see. Well, creep forward when you, when you can see. So, so this is, whoever put these signs up here, uh, watch when you get around the corner. Now, don't speed up because you're going down there. What's the sign say? National. Who's put that there, look? How, what, what have you got down here, look? Hills, tight bends. So why, they've changed it to 60 miles an hour now, right? Look at this. How fast are you going? 24, and this is a perfect speed. Oh, do I want to be in third though? No, yeah, none of this speed, just keep it this. So they put this crazy piece of road at 60 miles per hour. So if the council watch this video, we're going to put them up, we need to go and see a doctor. <laughs> see the national, Oak? see they've even given you a repeat of sign to remind you how mad's that? Dear me, then you've got warning signs, look horse rider, cyclist, then you've got an oncoming thing in the middle of the road. So they've put this little stretch of road, watch when you get around the corner. <laughs> so whoever's put them signs up, I can only think they keep all the roads uniform, you know, on the country roads. But watch when you get around the corner, what signs you see. <laughs> so they've put that mad piece of road at 60 miles an hour. Can you give a good why give any idea why you put that at 60? Yeah, yes. It's crazy, isn't it? Now, like get, but the sad thing is, you know, some learners will go down there on the test when they say the national, guess what they do? Go up the national. They put the foot out. 
Honestly, they do. Well, so the examiner would happy be going down there 2025. Yes, definitely. Definitely. If he could, if he'd done six, he'd probably get out of the car. Pull you up the side of the would road. Would he fail you? He could, well, could he? If you went 60 down there, he couldn't. Well, yeah, he'd fail you. I would feel you, you do 60 down well, there. Well, you're doing the speed, which yeah, is realistically. It's not, is it safe doing 60? Just because no. it's 60 doesn't mean you're doing 60. It's for careless driving, that isn't it? Get done for careless driving, that's 60 miles an hour down that road. Before I do fast, you'd probably overturn the car. Alright, let's see what your pill junction's like. This is a nasty one. Could have done that a lot better just by rolling up and stopping on the rising brake. Yeah, if you stop on the hill, guess what the examiner want you to do? Handbrake. You wouldn't expect you to just sit there and think about putting the handbrake, you'd expect to put it straight on. But this feels a little bit fast now, what's the speed limit like? <clears throat> I think you were worried about the cars behind there at that junction, weren't you? So they just focus on the rolling first and the rising brake. In fact, it wasn't a bad hill start, really. It was a good hill start. I don't know what you're flat for. Well, how fast should we drive down here? 25. Yeah, that's all like you want. Because some people will open doors, they might step out. Um, cars move off without warning. It's just blind common sense really at the end of the day, isn't it? This is a good speed coming down the years. It's 20, it's good speed now. It just feels nice and comfortable, it feels like you're ready to do anything that happens. I over put them on YouTube, that's for sure. What's the take here? Just to edit. Oh, you've got, I've got to download them all and then I've got to download them to uh, something I'm have cut it. Normally these downloads are more but I've got to download them manually and then I've got to download them to the Power Direct app. And then I've got to put them all on the timeline. And then I've got to uh, try and put a nice fancy out of it. Pick the bits out where you do crazy and repeat them. But that, that's when I'll watch them. Slow road the road four times so if a bus comes you're gonna have to stop or a large vehicle for that matter. Now if a car comes out go through in second gear. If nothing's coming I'd go through in third. If a bus comes or a wagon I'd be stopped the other side of the bridge. I guarantee you can go down there when you test the vehicles.
Ooh. They still start. You know what happened to you? What? If you stall, I'm going to repeat this a hundred times oh. at the start of your video. I've had some stalls here on me, me mock tests. Now, you see the light to the right, the green one? Yeah. When that goes to amber, yours are going to change to red. So that's when you want to get ready. What, when that goes to amber? Yeah, that's when you want to get ready. Never say. But if you give me gas, tug gas, you'll be fine. Will I pull straight out or will I have to wait for... Well, you, when you turn right traffic, you give it oncoming traffic, don't you? Oh, yeah. Is there any oncoming no. traffic? Well, then you just go straight around. Because there's a green arrow coming on, so that means they're going to change to red. Now, if you rush it, you're going to stall, and I'm going to sit and giggle tonight. Because I'll just keep repeating it. I've got my part, that cyclist. Can you see the right that crossing? No. You need to take it from the gas. Just be ready. That's it. There's no bad parts. Put in the dear part from that cyclist. Ah, uh, right at the start and all. Like, what was I thinking? Well, we're going left in the traffic lights. Do I go on the little side road? Or yes. Not? Yeah. See that you've got a crossing and you've also got giveaway lines and giveaway track. Roll it first. Change gear very softly. Can you notice the third is coming in? So right, if you change like that you'll not get you'll not make any gain falls. Downhill, what's going to happen? Go faster, so we'll keep off the bridge. Yeah, all the way down here. Before you move off, you want the, this left dormer. That's when do I want to set my car for it? Like. When it changes to red on. I think it's them that goes next, C plot. I think it's them that we go next. But watch for cyclists coming down here. Wasn't the fill start there. Oh, that was a good one. A good one. You've got it on the down inside, let's take the power break off first, then move the clutch. Read all the signs, look. Staggered crossing. Jump, sorry, staggered junction. Then you've got the sharp bend. The box, this car might pull out. Rolling first if you're not 
Tio. Your test? Nine. Nine? Is that, I don't know, it's August 16th, isn't it? Oh, what would all fail because I'll be waiting so long. It's so crap how we have to wait so long to cover us. Because mm -hmm. didn't that used to be if you fail, you basically get in the next week? Well, you've got to wait 10 days anyway. If you fail, you can do one after 10 days. Make sure you pass first time because it'll be on YouTube. The actual test won't be, but the results. Yeah, the drive, the old before will be on test. And I'll be video where you come back to the test centre and say, oh, we pass, pass, pass. <laughs> oh, he fails, he miserably failed. Ten serious faults. Yeah. Is that downward hill starts or? Just keep up, bro. Then just walk as clutch. Secondary light is it that? Oh, there's lots here, isn't there? Which one do you think it is? Uh, that one to the right of them, too. That's it, or that one there, see it? Or that one there? Yeah, yeah, that one also. Yes, that's your also that one. Now, you know, when the buses change back, the radios are going to change to green. Now, I want to get in the right lane up there, don't I? Uh, yeah, we've got plenty of time. I'll get ready to go because these are going to change now.
Five minutes. Your uh, video antenna doing these lights, which is some good, some good stuff in there for video. For that SD card wasn't memory wasn't long enough. Do I need to find the tug here or not? Yeah, oh, just the slight tug. Though. Stops her from rolling back. I'd be put getting ready to go now. Huh? We give away that as well. We do. Just, you know, you take the handbrake off. It's an A or a Yeah, you can take the handbrake off. You're just rushing, that's all. I saw you the other day. Did you see us? You didn't see us. Yeah. On Saturday, I was. I think you were going. You were going down the, the estate. Your estate. No. Oh, oh, I just passed yours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And said I had a test. Uh, Ariana. Oh right. At Pasatino or somebody. Yeah, do you know? I know. I know what you're on about. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. What did you pass off it then? Well, videos on YouTube. Oh, is it? Yeah. What did you pass off it? Wait. You're not made this watch it, I will watch it. <laughs> get it watched, get it watched. But look at the look at the thumbnail I I, I put on the thumbnail, I can't believe you done that. What if she failed? <laughs> That's what I put on the thumbnail. Yeah, she just lives up the road from you, isn't she? I know, yeah. Did you not see this? No. Oh, I, was what you doing? I was I was waiting for a lift, I was literally on the you know the sports centre entrance? Yeah, yeah. I was just stood there waiting oh, for a lift. No. And I saw I saw your car. Is that? Yeah. Was I driving? Yeah. Was it Ariana? Uh, no, because you were going into that estate. Right. Well, I 
trying to beat the picker up with she's doing a test at 12.30 here I think it's had over two and a half thousand views on that you'll have to watch it Treat like a toilet seat. It goes down, doesn't it? You know, a toilet seat doesn't go halfway down, does it? It goes to the bottom. Right, how do you think we went to deal with Went alright. Better years. You would? Except for that first, it went nearly. Cycles. Yeah. Bad judgment there. Mm. But learn from it. Um, there's no way I would have done that. General driving, you, you, gear, you don't change gear like this. You just guide them to the where you want to go. That's all, really. Um, speed was good in the right places, wasn't too fast, wasn't too slow. Right, national speed limit on a single carriageway road. What's the speed limit? 60. Do you have to do 60? Nope. No. Sometimes you're doing 20, sometimes you're doing 55. It's just all about common sense. Um, what's the limit point? Where well, you kind of see more of the road. Good. So it's the furthest part of the road yeah. you can see. What's the national speed limit on a dual carriageway? 70. How do you know you're on a dual carriageway? Because there's like a gap in the middle. A strip of 70, land yeah. on the barry, isn't it? Um, if you're driving down the road and you're not sure of the speed limit, you look in the side road and see a 30, what's the speed limit on here? 40. Good. You don't have to do the speed limits, but you don't want to be driving too slow. Um, and what's your other clue? Straight light and... Repeat uh, signs of the 40s, yeah. Right, have you any questions before I turn that off? No. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. 